Hello there, book lovers and leadership enthusiasts. Today, we're going to delve into an inspiring masterpiece, The Self-Aware Leader, Play to Your Strengths, Unleash Your Team, by John C. Maxwell. Maxwell, recognized as the hash one leadership and management expert in the world, takes us on another journey of transformation and growth. In this book, he combines decades of leadership experience with compelling research to create a practical guide for becoming a self-aware leader. Key point one, self-awareness. Our journey through Maxwell's book begins with self-awareness. Maxwell insists that understanding oneself is the first step to effective leadership. It's about acknowledging your strengths and weaknesses and leveraging that awareness to become a more effective leader. He encourages readers to dig deep, reflect, and honestly assess themselves to establish a clear understanding of their unique abilities and areas needing improvement. Moreover, self-awareness also includes recognizing your emotional triggers and managing your reactions. This goes beyond merely knowing what you're good at or what needs improvement, but delving into your emotional landscape. Key point two, strength focus. Strength focus is our next stop. According to Maxwell, the best leaders are those who understand their natural talents and work tirelessly to refine them into powerful skills. This goes beyond just acknowledging your strengths. It's about concentrating your efforts where you naturally excel and continually building upon these areas to propel your leadership forward. Maxwell also cautions against spending too much energy on our weaknesses. While it's crucial to be aware of and manage our weaknesses, our strengths hold the potential for exponential growth and impact. By focusing on our strengths, we not only increase our leadership capability, but also find greater satisfaction in our work. Key point three, team dynamics. Next, we delve into team dynamics. Maxwell firmly believes that a leader is only as effective as the team they lead. He emphasizes understanding individual team members' strengths, weaknesses, and motivations, and utilizing that knowledge to build a cohesive, high-performing unit. Maxwell points out that when leaders understand their team dynamics, they can assign tasks that play to each member's strengths, boosting morale and productivity. He also underscores the importance of fostering a positive, respectful team culture where everyone's strengths are valued and diversity is seen as an asset. Key point four, emotional intelligence. The fourth key concept is emotional intelligence. Maxwell stresses that understanding and managing your emotions and empathizing with the emotions of others is a critical leadership skill. It's about acknowledging your emotional responses, managing your reactions, and effectively communicating your feelings to others. He also insists that leaders with high emotional intelligence can better understand their team members' feelings and needs, leading to stronger relationships and more effective teamwork. Maxwell asserts that leaders who cultivate emotional intelligence can navigate conflict, handle stress, and inspire their team more effectively. Key point five, continuous learning. Maxwell underscores the importance of continuous learning. He believes that effective leaders are lifelong learners, always eager to expand their knowledge, skills, and perspectives. This means embracing a mindset of curiosity and openness, continually seeking new insights and opportunities to grow. Maxwell also stresses that continuous learning includes learning from your mistakes. He encourages leaders to view failure not as a setback, but as a stepping stone towards success. By learning from our mistakes, we can gain valuable insights that empower us to improve and move forward. Key point six, adaptability. Adaptability is our next topic. According to Maxwell, successful leaders embrace change and are flexible in their approach. This means being able to assess changing circumstances, adjust your strategies, and guide your team through transitions effectively. In addition to flexibility, adaptability also involves resilience. Maxwell believes that resilient leaders can weather adversity and navigate challenges with courage and optimism. By cultivating adaptability, leaders can turn uncertainties into opportunities for growth and innovation. Key point seven, ethical leadership. Maxwell emphasizes the significance of ethical leadership. He argues that integrity, honesty, and accountability are paramount to effective leadership. This means aligning your actions with your values, being transparent, 
and accepting responsibility for your decisions and their outcomes. Moreover, ethical leaders inspire trust and loyalty in their teams. Maxwell insists that leaders who prioritize ethical conduct can build a strong, positive team culture where everyone feels respected, valued, and motivated to do their best. Key point eight, visionary thinking. Next, Maxwell talks about visionary thinking. He posits that great leaders are visionaries who can see beyond the immediate, envisioning a brighter future and inspiring their team to work towards it. This involves setting clear, ambitious goals and creating strategic plans to achieve them. Maxwell further elaborates that visionary leaders are also excellent communicators. They effectively articulate their vision to their team, creating enthusiasm and commitment towards the shared goals. By practicing visionary thinking, leaders can drive innovation, foster team unity, and lead their team towards success. Key point nine, inclusivity. Maxwell stresses the importance of inclusivity in leadership. He asserts that inclusive leaders value diversity, involve everyone in decision-making, and ensure each team member feels seen, heard, and appreciated. This not only strengthens team cohesion, but also fuels innovation and creativity. Furthermore, inclusivity fosters an environment where everyone can thrive. Maxwell insists that by embracing inclusivity, leaders can tap into a wider range of perspectives, experiences, and ideas, enriching their team's performance and promoting a culture of mutual respect and collaboration. Key point 10, service orientation. Finally, Maxwell discusses the concept of service orientation. He suggests that the most influential leaders are those who serve their teams. This means focusing on the needs of your team members, prioritizing their well-being, and investing in their growth and development. Maxwell underscores that a service orientation goes beyond the traditional command and control style of leadership. It's about showing empathy, offering support, and empowering your team members to succeed. According to Maxwell, leaders who adopt a service orientation foster a supportive, collaborative culture where everyone feels motivated to contribute their best. In conclusion, the self-aware leader, Play to Your Strengths, Unleash Your Team, by John C. Maxwell, offers a profound exploration of leadership and personal growth. It reinforces that leadership isn't about power or control, but about understanding oneself, valuing others, and fostering an environment where everyone can excel. Maxwell's book isn't merely a guide to leadership. It's a call to become more self-aware, to understand and utilize our strengths, to learn and adapt, and to serve others. It's about nurturing our emotional intelligence, cultivating a growth mindset, and committing to ethical conduct. The lessons from this book aren't only applicable to leadership. They're relevant to every aspect of our lives, from our relationships to our personal growth. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey through John C. Maxwell's The Self-Aware Leader, Play to Your Strengths, Unleash Your Team. Stay tuned for more inspiring book reviews, and remember, every book we read is another step towards becoming the best version of ourselves. Until next time, keep reading, keep learning, and keep leading.